Hello. Well, um, a few days ago, uh, Ted White uh, passed away. He was a stuntman and actor. Um, he uh, did stunt doubles for guys like um, John Wayne and Clark Gable. Um, some of the movies he was in as an actor were um, uh, Starman, uh, Romancing the Stone. He did uh, stunts for uh, Escape from New York and Roundhouse. Um, but he will most likely um, be best remembered for the uh, role of Jason Voorhees in Friday the 13th Part 4, the final chapter. Um, I've obviously talked about this movie already, and um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, this is my favorite Friday the 13th movie. Um, and he was uh, great as Jason. Uh, he's actually my favorite Jason Voorhees um, actor. He was 96 years old, and um, so um, I believe he was also the, the oldest person to ever play Jason Voorhees. Um, but yeah, he, he gave an incredible performance. Um, uh, he was just very menacing and just incredible. Um, uh, these two documentaries, which I've uh, mentioned before, you know, um, his name was Jason and um, <clears throat> Crystal Lake Memories, uh, you know, they, uh, you know, obviously have interviews with him talking about uh, Jason Voorhees and, like, or playing Jason Voorhees and um, um, just the films that they did, and, of course, he's in there also, and DVD and also this Blu-ray. I'll, I'll uh, also have um, <clears throat> same special features as the DVD did, where which uh, he has uh, he's interviewed and talks about how you know he wasn't the fondest uh, of the director at times, and because of how the director was working, he wanted his name off the film, and so he got that, and uh, he was offered parts four and five but he turned them down which later on he regretted especially after he went to horror conventions but you know he just you know at the time he just thought uh, that the way the director was acting like how he was just sort of uh, disregarding people and um like situations going on like you know woman was uh really cold and they were filming in water um she has to be like you know, she's like topless and stuff and uh you know raft and it's really cold and you know he wanted her out the director's like no we gotta just do this again and it'll be quick but you know quick was like you know having to wait like 15 or 20 minutes minimum in order for everything to be reset exactly the way they want it and then to shoot the scene again where you know this woman's gonna die because it's her death scene basically and so uh, she has to be out there for a good long period and in the film it looks fairly warm like it's like there's like steam or something coming off of the water because of how warm it is and but um, obviously the reality was it was cold and so they just had like a, a fog machine to make it look like that and uh <clears throat> she started to turn blue and he uh said you know if you don't get her out of the water i'm gonna walk and you're gonna have to find somebody else to do this part and um they couldn't really do that because of how much they filmed and so they got her out and um she actually got hyperthermia but probably would have gotten worse had he not stepped in to tell uh the director that if you don't get her out yeah, i'm walking uh that's just an example of uh the kind of guy ted white was you know he 
I never met him at any like convention, uh, um, but I've heard uh, only nice good things about him, and um, I was never one to frequent uh, really conventions of any kind. I've been to some, but it's not something that I often go to because it was like you know you obviously need money, <laughs> like a good amount of money if you want to like get like a picture or an autograph um maybe some other stuff and that's like if you're not able to do so uh, at a certain period of time and also if you're not able to go to any convention you know that might not be within where you live and it's like well it's in this state or somewhere else not like too far um, if you're just not able to do so either regardless of like the financial situation it's like well you know you can't really <laughs> just go because uh of things going on but the man seemed to be a very good uh good guy um and stuff like that just that story just seems to back up what the impression of watching him in interviews and you know not just on the these uh blu-rays and dvds um but just in general um like look online and find interviews with him and he seemed like a nice guy great guy um and uh you know his reception or thoughts on the film you know has it did improve over time obviously because he, he clearly would have uh done like a like a trilogy of films as Jason Voorhees um but you know he uh just because of the, how things transpired on the making of part four he wasn't totally sure or sold on the idea of uh continuing to play that part because of the experience that you know he had and also just seeing what was going on he just was like hey I'm not I don't want to really do this anymore than you know I just want to uh, do this and then do something else um which he did Starman with Jeff Bridges and uh he actually got a uh like a when talking to Jeff Bridges when they're filming the uh, that movie Starman, uh, Jeff Bridges made a comment that uh, Ted White did a movie, right? and then people then went over and asked him what the movie was, and he said oh, it was Friday the Thirteenth, and it was like uh, by uh, Jason, and then that was in the paper, and then the next day a whole bunch of people showed up, and Ted White was around um, uh, Jeff Bridges. Um, but nobody there wanted Jeff Bridges' autograph. They wanted Ted White's because he used Jason Voorhees. And that just, it just shows you how huge, like, that character in those films are. Like, just a huge star like Jeff Bridges is able to be upstaged by a, uh, an actor and stuntman who, for, you know... For a film like this, you're not real, you're not gonna see his face because even when if his mask comes off, they're gonna put makeup on and everything, so you're not even gonna see that it's Ted White. So that just shows how uh, huge and uh, impactful that that character and those films were, you know, at that time, like in 1983, when they were filming that film. Uh, and Starman's a very good film too, um, directed by John Carpenter, obviously the like the co-creator of Halloween and many other films, like The Thing and so many others. Um, some of the other uh, films that he uh, was a stuntman on, you know, Fast and the Furious, Tokyo Drift, Too Fast, Too Furious. Wild Wild West, um, History of the World Part 1, 1941, um, 
Planet of the Apes. Kojak, he was a stuntman on the TV series. Rio Bravo. Giant. Um, the Alamo. Uh, he's just done so many... So many films in it. Robin Hood Men in Tights. You know, I believe I mentioned the Alamo already, but you know, because he was also an actor in that too. You know, he didn't get you know credited in a, a good amount of those films uh, or shows that he was a stuntman on. Um, occasionally, he would like if the part was big enough that you know it would be warranted. It's one of the last few people in the credits with the cast but you know yeah he he was a he had a great career you know Clark Gable and John Wayne and so many others and he did stunts for yeah, he uh yeah I, I yeah I, I think uh, it would be great to just go and um Look up some of the interviews he had. You know, a good number of them are regarding like Friday the Thirteenth. Um, so, so if one isn't totally fond of like horror films or anything, you know, just be aware that that is going to be a good chunk of the interviews that he does. But yeah, he uh, he, he is very. Uh, yeah, he he was a very great uh, great guy from everything I've heard and saw, and uh, just hearing him talk about you know the career he had and people he met and interacted with, uh, you know those stories are out there. Um, but it's a you know it is a shame that we won't be able to hear those stories again. From him, and perhaps even more that he just never told because you know perhaps some people just never thought to ask about certain uh, films he did and some of the people that he uh, uh, met throughout his career. But you know, with the career he had, it was a uh, just amazing. And some, obviously, I know I didn't go through every film he did but you know there's so many and uh yeah again he seemed like a great guy too and so um with that i believe that that's all i really have to say um uh, rest in peace to ted white and uh he had an amazing career you know like a great guy from everything uh, that I've seen and um, have heard. <clears throat> you know, I've heard people who have got to meet him and get a picture with him and all that stuff. So he just seemed like a great guy and uh, he will be missed. So uh, with that, I hope all of you are doing well. Hope you're all having a great day. Hope you'll have a great week. I'll see you all next time. Bye.